Okay, so um, this is actually a question for my wife. <laughs> what drew you to black metal? That sort uh, of. Okay. Um, I think black metal is kind of the, one of the most kind of interesting and kind of deep genres. I quite there's kind of a lot to explore in black metal. I find, and uh, you know, rather than just kind of technique and stuff, it's a lot to do with the atmosphere and. Uh, there's quite a lot to draw from, I feel. Oh, Jim loves so, the atmosphere of yeah, black metal. Yeah, yeah. Loves the atmosphere of black metal. No, I mean, there's so there's so much to kind of pull from, and like, yeah, because we're quite into kind of, you get like the, the black metal basis, and then you can build from it. Yeah. And like, I love that, and then the lyrics and everything, it's kind of all, all fits together really well. Whereas that other genre is kind of maybe more technique based, and it's quite a kind of a set technique, and maybe okay. it's, I find black metal a bit more. Um, varies. Okay, so yeah. Um, okay, how was celebrating impending chaos received generally across the board? Um, well, I mean, press wise, it's been we've seen some amazing reviews and it's been really good. I mean, I mean we've had, yeah, it's been awesome. We couldn't really ask for anything better. Really. Amazing, amazing press. Okay, so, um, yeah. and now there is quite a big change from that album to the previous, I yes. would say. Yes. The previous is very standard, yeah. almost yeah. black metal, whereas. Yeah. The new album was a lot more progressive. Yeah. Yeah. What sort of well, I mean, to that? my brother and I started the band, and um, we were literally we started it before we started uh, Primitive Graven Image. We were doing uh, progressive metal. Okay. We, we, got, we both got into black metal, and uh, we were like, yeah, fucking black metal, man. It's amazing. And we just sort of we did a demo as well before, uh -huh, yeah. and it's just like c complete like Norwegian worship. And uh, just like yeah, yeah, we love this. Like no, this, we're not trying to be anyone. Of, everyone's like oh they're copying, but yeah, we were copying. But it's just because it was so fun, you know, it was amazing. So we were just like yeah, we did that and uh, quite innocently in a way, just because uh, it was fun. And then um, uh, we got we got signed by a label quite quickly. And we were like did so we did this album for them, the first album, and we kind of carried on with just the fun black metal, like not really trying to do anything else. And then when, when it came to celebrating Impending Chaos, uh, that was kind of when we, we got a four piece together and we were like sort of evolving a bit and we were like trying to put our own influences in. And we were okay. all into like Pink Floyd and progressive metal and stuff. Okay. And nice. a bit of death metal. Like we were all big fans of Nile and stuff okay. like that. So getting a bit of that Egyptian Eastern thing. Oh, you can definitely feel that, yes. Yeah, yes, cool. yes, yes. So, yes, yes. Good. <laughs> all so right. yeah, good. Kind of combine it a bit. Uh, why? After almost two years, did you then do a video? Back to actually. Yeah. Um, what's happening now? Um, now we're playing a few gigs, trying to get our name about a bit, and then we're also writing for a third album, which is again, it's going to be a slow process. And what what can we expect? Um, you can expect even more prog. <laughs> <laughs> prog black metal. Yeah. Also a bit more of an aggressive, like we're really into bands like Anona Frack and uh, okay, yeah. Axis and Perdition and stuff like that, and uh, okay. get a bit of that kind of dirty English. Fucking no, hatred and it's, it's, I sent something on the album that the whole way through it's got a very muddy sound undertone so even yeah. in the silent moments there's, a, there's, there's that, there's that yeah, muddy I mean, sound even in that even in the second album we uh, had a bit of that idea of sort of in that industrial thing a little bit like underneath everything or okay. maybe we can't produce it I don't know <laughs> um, okay any tips for bands that are trying to get signed gigs what, what's your main thing um, I mean with the whole label thing we had a bad 
quite a bad experience with our first label. It was a tiny label, and we just they just kind of disappeared and took our money. So uh, we set up our own label. I mean, you've got the money to f to just a bit of money to get an album together and stuff. I would recommend doing it yourself because it's I find it's been a lot more fulfilling. Obviously, you have to have a bit of money to press your album and do some like send it off to. But you get your press kits out, send them out. You know, make sure all the all the magazines know about your album, and then it's all good. It's a, you know. And we've got we've been lucky with distribution as well. We've got some a good distribution deal. Yeah. So as long as you've got the distribution, I think as long as the album's there, out there, then it's up to you to promote it. So. Yeah. Okay. Um, any bands we need to look out for in your genre? Um, I don't know. We're not, I'm not we're not really into the scene much. We I mean we played with a load of people recently. There's a band called Old Corpse Road from up north. Uh -huh. Yeah, we know that. Definitely yeah. check them out. Uh, this band that we're playing with today, to be fair, I can't remember their name. <laughs> I can't pronounce their name. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's why. That's why, why I can't but pronounce we it, played but with yeah. them up in York and they really impressed us. So I'm really glad we got that we're, quite an old school yeah, sound. And so. quite a, a really cool like, stage project and stuff. So yeah, but really good song. Yeah. 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 Yeah.